peace, love, and light to the fam. Ooh, we. Legba, Yemen Yah, and all that was aspects of your own self, not no individual entities. Even when you build an altar, you are only drawing out your power because they live through you and through your energy. The ancient, there used to be an ancient year of a mystery system called the White City of the Central Sun in mid-Africa, West Africa, and all that. And they were on one side of Africa with the same advanced system, mystery system of Yoruba with the gods, with science learning and all that, the same as you had your Egyptian deities, your Camite deities on the other side of the planet. Mm -hmm. They both come out of schools of Atlantis, the black and red schools out of Atlantis. Mm -hmm. Now, the Europe, so what happened was when colonization came in mm -hmm. and slavery, the ancient high priests, so some of them had to go underground and they had to retreat. So the ancient metaphysical knowledge of it pertaining to your physical body died out with those particular priests. And what was left on top was a system of divination. It's a more advanced than Christianity and that stuff that don't do the magic. But it's a system of divination and worship on top of the ground. But the metaphysical part as far as you being the damn Orishas is now somehow got lost because now it's a more advanced form of religion. But now it's become a religion where the people in there are worshiping Oshun and all them. Now take case in point. Some people believe if you don't, if you go at a leg by the wrong way, you can get hurt. You ever heard this before? He's the god of the crossroads. That's if you in the religion. I call leg by up every day and cuss his black ass out. Then the leg by do what the hell I tell him to do. And a leg body told me, don't come at me, not lest you coming at me like one of me. So if I'm supposed to be one of him as a god like him, I can't come at him asking him no shit, not unless I'm asking him just like I asked a nigga to get my back out here, same way. Now why is that? I used to, when I, was, when I used to deal with them on one level, they used to bless me. But then after I got to a certain level, in 1995, the spirits backed away from me and all kind of shit started happening to me. Not real bad stuff, but just stuff wasn't going right financially and all kind of stuff. Just, just, just a low period. Not that I needed a, lot, low, a whole lot of money, but I'm talking about goddamn one night I ate candy bars just to get home, get to get full. <laughs> just all kind of crazy little stuff. And the Spirit said, you know better. That's for the other people, even the people in the Europe, but are still thinking that the Orishas is some objective entity outside of themselves. But you know a vast knowledge that they ain't nothing but you. So I can't, so they said, you're going to be with us. You got to be with us. And not up under us. So now what you got in the whole Yoruba thing is a lot of them, they stuck in the building the altars and doing all this kind of thing here and all that kind of stuff. And then not only that, the damn Nigerian then come over and pimping niggas over here. You got to damn they have $12,000 to become a damn Yoruba priest. Motherfucker, I'm a Baba. I was born a Baba. That's what the name Bobby means. Bobby is a, is a modified English version of the word Baba, which means teacher. I'm a damn Yoruba priest. You understand what I'm saying? So now I don't have to damn go and get some of the magic to do the shit. I just tell them. So I say, so I said, girl, you cuss old shoe now. You show, I say, fuck old shoe. That bitch. Now how did I say that? <gasps> I say, I'm old shoe. I'm old shoe. I can say what the fuck I want to old shoe. I'm old shoe. You understand what I'm coming from? Can you grasp where I'm coming from here? If the same end, if we all the same damn energy, then fuck it, I can cuss my damn self out. <laughs> I said, fuck on shoes. Fuck that hoe. <gasps> See, I'm old shoes. I am that I am. I'm the Alpha and the Omega. My spirit is just as old as them, and our spirit is one. You just separate me from the physical. 
you don't know that the seven African powers used to be the seven African powers in you. They only exist through you. You're just the physical level of the same God in the spiritual land. The African has forgotten that. The Nigerian so damn corrupt, he said, we gonna pimp a nigga over here with this shit. And charging them all that thousand dollars. You know that the average reading for any divination system that of ancient Africa translated into modern Africa is five dollars. The shit, most of the blessings that they supposed to give in ancient time was so free. Now you damn they gotta damn spend all that money and go through all that hell to become a you of a priest and you ain't get them motherfuckers ain't got no more power than me. They ain't got no more power than me. If I want to, I can kill all them motherfuckers. Why? Because once you start using the power to manipulate your people, the damn old Rishans can kill them. I can take the same damn power and come up in there and kill them same old you of a priest because they pimps now. So now that shit done become a damn joke because they doggone they they spending all that damn money. Girl got to raise damn near. She ain't got no money. How can you get all your ass damn ghetto people to raise all that damn money to do some shit with God when God isn't supposed to need no money? Money got the white man face on it. Now how the hell does that translate a white man shit when God we trust the shit just got everybody fucked up off his money? And why the hell the old reachers need that? You see what I'm saying? They are pimping that and that's why the energy ain't with them no more. But still yet, the spirits say that they are tired of them. Now we're supposed to go to another level and become Oshun. Become Baba Luaye. Become Obatala. You see what I'm saying? I'm all of that. So now, it's a difference now. So when I say those things, I'm not trying to be mean spirit. I say those things for therapeutic things and I say, fuck them. So now, but see, the stuff that I've been teaching, that's what we're supposed to be anyway. You see what I'm saying? So break, see, to break this science of on a somebody over you when it's only you that you're doing the stuff in the first place. So when I pulled all those libations, I was only dealing with my own stuff. So when I told Arya, I didn't say Arya, please don't rain. I said, Arya, look, like they had Freaknik last week. It's supposed to rain. I said, Arya, I don't want to hear that shit, Arya. If you can have a damn sunshine for that fucked up ass Olympics with all them goddamn crappers, I know goddamn well you can have a damn sun come out for these black damn students. Now, I don't want to hear that shit, motherfucker, don't you rain. And it was supposed to rain 100%, and it didn't rain. Now, if I said, oh, this is, but I'm talking to her the same way I be talking to a nigga in the house, because we the same people. You see what I'm saying? And I'm only talking to my damn self. There is no God outside of you. Honorable Elijah Muhammad told you the first page in the book, in the black, that's the black man. To worship a God other than yourself is to worship a God inferior in yourself. So we're talking about, there's got to be a, look, there's got to be a group of people that go to God school. You got thousands of people in the religion, and you know what? The God school don't mean that you wait for Bobby Hennis everywhere. The God school is you go to the bookstores. You do your own doggone research. You see what I'm saying? It's not that I'm a brilliant damn person and shit. You know, I never studied in high school. Never did none of that stuff. I just cheated my way all through school. I, it is not that I, that I was dumb. I just refused to do the work. You see, I cheated my way through. I just said, this is bullshit. Right now, if you ask me what, what time what is, I can't tell you. I learned it for a little bit of time to pass the test to get out of damn high school, and I forgot that shit. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I didn't read until the damn seventh grade because I didn't want to read until the seventh grade. I didn't care nothing about that type of thing. My mama was a damn school teacher, my grandmama was a school teacher, my everybody in the family school teachers. But I rebel against all that. But when it was time for me to do the thing and all this here, I'm doing this now. I, I started reading when I came into this knowledge. I was an artist, so I just drew all my life. You see, so my point is, going back to what I'm trying to say is, it's got to become a time where we start going to God's school and becoming those people. There is nobody coming back to save us but ourselves. And the energy that the white boy is scared of is the group of people that's supposed to rise up out of the doggone Western Hemisphere. Which is a concentration of all different African tribes that was chewed up and spit out in the West. We are a mixture of all dips of African tribes. You see. And, and some other world people all over. We got some Chinese and everything else because we done dealt with. It's all kind of shit. 
But that's what it is. You see where I'm coming from? So now, not talking about what I'm saying is so the Yoruba thing, you, you, yeah, you're supposed to deal with that. But what it is is you can go through the system if you want to and spend a whole lot of money. But what you're supposed to do is we need people to integrate that into the other side of that thing on how put back the, the, the mystical side. A good book you need to get is Urban Voodoo. Very excellent book. I read that book. I think I read that book. Excellent book. Even this cracker who wrote the book said that they got to come out of, they got to come out, he got to let go of all the groups. And they practice it on their own. And even that, thanks to the damn Africans, they got a million practitioners of Yoruba in the United States alone, all white. A million, over a million practitioners, thank to them niggas in damn Eden, um, Nigeria. And do you know that the number one, and now that shit becomes such a hierarchy, it's infiltrated by the government. Do you know that the number one head of the, of the Yoruba organization in, Dalton, in the United States of America is a white Jew out of Chicago? Them Nigerians and put a white Jew the head of the damn, he like the chief. Baba Lyle in the United States, a goddamn cracker. Mm -hmm. That's a damn shame. Mm -hmm. That's the one that wrote that book. You got a book out? Well, they got another cracker. Mm -hmm. They wrote a book, The Methodology of the Europa. Mm -hmm. This white boy. And you, But you know the sad part about it? We sent a sister to Cuba to get initiated. The damn American sisters shit her out of $1,000. The Cuban people over there, they're not used to a whole lot of money, so they, if it wasn't for them people over there, them sisters over there, she would have down, she would have got over there, she would still be in Cuba right now. They had, to, they had to sneak her into Bahamas and then go to Cuba from there, because you can't go to Cuba, you know, from the United States. Mm -hmm. The niggas over here with that old damn Baba Lyle shit, man, shit her out of damn thousand dollars. And you know how she was able to get, get through all that stuff? I gave her a book written by a white boy that's got all the secrets that the damn priests be doing over here charging niggas. A white boy wrote a book called Methodology of the Yoruba, which is all the stuff of the Bible Island. If it wasn't for that damn book, she wouldn't have been able to get back over here. Mm -hmm. She had to pass a certain amount of things that the teacher from over, the sister over here was supposed to teach her. Mm -hmm. The sister bailed out on it because the, the sister stole, um, shit of her out of a thousand dollars. We need this for the sister. Y'all raise all this money. And I told her before, I said, you don't need to be getting into that shit on that level now. This, that's over with. That's over with now, because all you do is you just sit up there and you just do a whole bunch of doggone rituals and all, but you really, really don't enhance your spiritual knowledge and become Obatala in them. You see what I'm saying? So that's the difference, man, between uh, most of the Yoruba thing now is this a, it's a much more glorified, advanced, ritualistic religion, but it's still a religion. And most Bible Lyles don't know they ass from a hole in the ground right now. Right now. I challenge all the motherfuckers. And I kill them bastards too. I got the power to do it. And I tell you something, them motherfuckers ain't got no more magic than me. I'm telling you. Them motherfuckers, I'm telling you. Some, they, the government done tried to use some of them niggas to do magic on me and the shit don't work with me. Because what it is, is they fuck up and the, the shit that they put on me just make me stronger because the same energy is inside of me. They'd be opening up shit on me and helping me out. But you can do that when you get to a certain level. But now, if you ain't, when you in the company of the God level, ain't nothing can touch you. So they sent a sister up there. She was doing all kind of shit with me in my lecture. And she was getting mad because, man, they were pumping me up more. I was going crazy. And she was throwing all her shit on me trying to kill me up in there. And I was mad. I was like, man, who is powerful up in here? But she didn't know. The energy that she was using was my damn energy because I'm, I'm one with the gods. And that's what... That's the difference between a religion now. It's fine to learn the divination system and learn about the energy about that particular magic, but then there's a time when they're talking about some people like Merlin, you'll see the shit tomorrow night, being one of the gods. So my point is about the Yoruba thing, I deal with Obatala and them. I've been dealing with them for a while now, but it got to a certain doggone point whereas all I got to do is say it. I ain't got to build no altar and do this type of thing here to them in that particular thing. I am one of them, you see. But my point is, is that's the kind of stuff we're talking about right now is becoming, the, uh, the, the coming, and the Yoruba, they used to have the same advanced system where you do that. That's why you go to Egypt now, you see a lot of gods that people started worshiping. But those gods are nothing but a, but a form of you. 
You see? So they, so they, they, they tell you about it in the Yoruba thing. Well, you know, I'm an Oshun spirit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm a this. She's my Orisha. That means that it's not that she's your Orisha. You are her. You are literally her. You understand what I'm saying? Or him. You see what I'm saying? So Oshun and them, they know what the hell I'm talking about. So when I say fuck Oshun, I can say that because I'm talking about my own self. You see? I'm talking about my own self. Peace, love, and light to the fam. Ooh, we.